of resisting temptation is about reminding ourselves where our goals are. That positive self-talk of, am I advancing toward my goals or away from my goals? Yes, goals like, I wanna be a better father, better husband, wanna honor God in all that I do. But not just those bigger goals, also those smaller goals. I am sure that there is a hobby that you would rather be spending time with if you really think about it compared to whenever we feel drawn toward rebellion. Because that's what it is, it is rebellion. Earlier this year, I had bad blood sugar. Uh, and with a lot of hard work and by the grace of God, I don't anymore. But I can tell you right now that I am in no hurry to eat myself back to the doorstep of diabetes. I'm just not. And so I need to be dutiful in all the things that I do. I need to exercise self-control and not allow that rationalization to begin. Because I know myself, and I'm probably speaking for a bunch of people when I say, rebellion in small ways almost always leads to rebellion in other ways. What we allow starts us down the process of that self-rationalization. Turn with me in your Bibles to James, starting in chapter 4, verse 7. Therefore, submit yourselves to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to dejection. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. Probably after that, watching this video, maybe you might, might want to take the time to go read your Bible. You might want, want to take the time to go uh, devote time to prayer or meditation on the things of God. But such things are hard earned. And that is my prayer for all of us today, that we make that effort by the grace of God. That little extra effort is what is required to build the right kinds of habits that all of us need in our lives. And as my buddy used to say, one of my old Marine buddies, CW, the difference between ordinary and extraordinary, well, it's just that little bit extra. God bless you all today.